Hi, this is Justice. In this video, we're going to be talking about setting up Rebel and the Tablet Pro Artist Pad together. So I've built a specific web page on my site, tabletpro.com slash rebel. This will have a lot of resources for you, including the manual, all the essential series, the brush creator series, and advanced tutorials for Rebel. There's frequently asked questions. The artist pad from Tablet Pro can be downloaded. It is right here. Uh, in the future, we'll be incorporating this into the Tablet Pro software, so the newest one will be available there. Right here is the install guide for Tablet Pro. We're not going to go into this. Uh, this takes about five to ten minutes to get you set up, and you should be ready to go. Uh, so we're going to go directly into what the artist pad for Rebel 4 does and how to set up Rebel to work with the artist pad from Tablet Pro. Here you can see the page. I've been working very hard on this, so check it out. Also, there is a link here. You can purchase Rebel 4. If you have not done that yet, you can use that link. That's an affiliate link, and so that benefits me, which I'm happy about. So feel free to use that, and thank you. All right, so here is the artist pad from Tablet Pro. And that's me. So this is something that uh, I've been working very hard to create with Takashi in Japan, and we have made a lot of progress. Uh, the team at Rebel, Peter, and everyone over there has been working very hard to make this work perfectly. And this is something we've been working towards for a year and a half, and I am so excited that we are finally here. In Rebel 4.1, there's a new feature in preferences. If you go to tablet mode, Windows 8 plus pointer input, this is actually the newest one. The name just implies that it starts with Windows 8 plus moving forward. Anyway, what it does is it enables everything to work exactly like a keyboard. So before we had a, a lot of limitations and now we don't and I'm in love. All right, so here, let me show you. So we're going to do a couple undos right here, by the way, this is key press OSD that will that will display the keyboard shortcuts that I'm using. Great software it does uh, text expansion and a lot of other things. Let's start with the panels. You're going to go to window right here, import layout, choose tablet pro, click open, and that will hide everything and everything is hidden, but it's here in the center. So I have the panels right here. These, let's go ahead and make this smaller and undo that. Right here, I have the panels. Uh, here's reference image, tilt, visual settings, tools, brush creator, and the properties panel. Right down here is the brush panel, layers panel, and uh, right here is color and the color set or swatch. Uh, I don't have anything mapped to do uh, the navigator or stencils. I don't use those very frequently. Um, so those you can add, this is completely customizable. You just click here, go to layout, edit layout. Uh, let me show you that real quickly. And I like big preview set here. You would just tap on a button, change what the function does here and save it. And I have tutorials um, on tabletpro.com slash academy that show you all the ins and outs of doing a lot of advanced things as well as just the simple stuff if you have trouble with it. All right, so a uh, real quick demo here. We can pan the screen. We can zoom in and out. Let's draw a little circle here. And let's um, pick a couple different colors. Now, the reason I have this set up the way I do, I like being able to uh, keep my hand in the same resting position. So um, I equate it to, you know, if I have to explain it, there's really probably not a whole lot of point. If you're a mechanic and you're sitting underneath the car and you're working on the car and you have to get out and change to a different tool every time, it just is monstrously slow compared to having all of your tools there and available without having to move. So voila, there's the, uh, explanation. I, you, there's no explanation needed. Okay, so we pick some colors and you can see we can pan, we can zoom, 
we can rotate, we can open the color pickers, uh, we can pick colors. Oh, so we'll just hold that down and let's pick a few colors here. And we can switch between modes. So here's blend only. Let's increase the brush size and let's increase the loading here. Uh, let's open up the brush creator and let's turn off tip tilt. Oh, so lovely. <laughs> okay. And let's undo that. So for me, what I'm, I'm drawing, this is amazing and I love it. All right. So here, this is, these are very easy to understand. Four, three, one, uh, eraser is five and I have it just set as the erase tool. So you can see it's very, very easy to switch between tools. Uh, I don't have two in there because I don't use two really. Okay. So, uh, right here, this is the oil brush watercolor over here. I'm going to scoot over. Okay. Right here. This is pause diffusion. This is dry the entire layer. This is fast dry right here is wet the entire layer. This is dry the dry tool. This is the water tool. And this is the marker tool right here. This is smudge the blow tool. No, this is blend. This is the blow tool, the smudge tool, pencil, watercolor, paintbrush, three, one, five, four, rotate. This is the color picker. Ooh, this is uh, the move tool or panning, zooming. This is layers. This is the brush size, resize, dynamic resize. Undo, this is color, color set or swatch. This is the brush panel. This is enter, enter key on the keyboard. This is shift, which is used for the ruler tool. This is redo right here. This is the properties panel, brush creator. This is the tools panel, visual settings, tilt, reference layers, lasso tool, transform, deselect, delete, fit to canvas, flip the screen, copy, paste. This is the edit menu for Tablet Pro. This is lock transparency. This is opening the touch keyboard and this is show wet or hide. Show, hide, wet. Yes. Pencil. This is Smudge and smudge I actually have set up as a blow brush. So let's put that on smudge. Maybe you can see it's smudging. And here, this is blend. Such a great tool. Um, this is water right here. So let's add a little bit of water and then switch to the blow tool and, um, switch to the dry tool back to blow. And what I like is you can hold these down and release them and they'll toggle back to wherever they were before. Right, here's pause. So we paused the diffusion and underneath this is dry D for dry. Uh, this is fast dry and this is wet the entire layer. We can see show and hide water up here, top left. So let's dry and wet and then let's hide that let's see i think we did the lower half completely right here is resize and up here okay this is redo this is shift so this is our our ruler tool i probably should select something that we can see. Oh, there's our water. All right. Our lasso tool, transform, deselect, uh, right here. This is enter 
It says deselect, deselect. There we go. All right, up here is flip the canvas. This is fit to screen. Let's zoom back in, pan over, and this is delete, which erases the entire canvas. Now we have copy, paste. This is transparency lock. So um, that means that if we draw something on the screen, notice nothing is appearing there because I have transparency lock. Okay, transparency lock. Now when I paint again, let's go ahead and pick a different color. It's only going to go on top of the pixels that are visible on the screen. Okay, and here's the keyboard. All right, that is the whole thing. All right, that's it. It's Rebel for setup, explanation of the artist pad. If you guys have questions, suggestions, feature requests, put it in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day.